So in this video, we're going to cover how to install Docker Desktop, how to install RStudio on top of that, and how to start using our data from our local computer or your Windows computer, and then bring it into the into the Docker. Go and download the Docker Desktop for Windows. Once you download it, install it, and you will end up with something like this on your computer. Now you don't need to sign in. Let's start. So the first thing you have to do is, you would expect that you would be able to do everything in this um, Docker desktop, but that's not the case. You still have to go and open a command prompt on your computer as well. So, it's, so you have to open a command prompt. So this is a command which need to be given to run and install uh, RStudio Docker. So we are running the Docker and we are saying that the port which we want to use is 8787 and we must specify a password. So in this case, my password is this text, so my password. And then I'm giving a, a name to my Docker image. So I'm calling it my RStudio. And what are we installing? We are installing rocker forward slash RStudio. So this is the Docker which is available on the Docker desktop website. So I'll go and run it. Because I don't have this copy locally available, it's going to go and find it on the Docker website and install it. Okay, so we can see that we have downloaded a rocker forward slash RStudio image. And it's actually in use. So if I go to my containers and apps, you can see that it's actually running at port 8787. And because we gave it a name called My R Studio, this is the name which has been given to it. So how do we run it? We simply open a browser. So I'm going to type localhost 8787 and see what it does. So it brings up this username and password screen. So remember that R Studio is the username and the password is my password and so let's go and sign in here we go we have our studio working in your local browser you can simply go and create a new R script packages are already installed but if you want to have any other package you can just go for example i want to install the ggplot2 package and this package is now being installed in your RStudio container. And you can see that this is being installed in a Linux environment. Though you are working on your Windows computer, your RStudio Docker is actually a Linux installation. Okay, and now I can start using the library, library ggplot. You can see that it's available now, and I can create a little chart as well. So it's all good. Now, the next question is, how do I get my data from my Windows computer into this Docker? Because remember, this Docker is a standalone Docker, and it's a Linux installation. So let's do something like, get wd or get the working directory you can see that this is the directory which is being used within the container and you can obviously create new folders my data folder and it gets created but how do we bring the data in so let's let's do another command so i'm going to open another command prompt now i've typed this syntax in there. So this is your source file. So we are saying Docker. I want to copy the file. And then this is my source file, which is actually on my C drive on my local computer. And then this is the container name, which you just created. So my R studio is the container name on your Docker. And then we are saying that we want to copy this file into the forward slash home forward slash R studio directory, which is the directory or the current working directory for, for this application. So using this command, let's see what happens when we run it. Okay, 
Here we go. So we have got our data file, which was actually sitting on my uh, C drive. So now this file is sitting in my folder, but I still need to read it. So I, I'll use something like import data set from text, and I can bring that file into my environment. So I've imported this file, and now this file is available in my environment. So we can see that my data is there, and I can simply create a chart. And the last step would be, how would you take this data out? Let's say if you've actually used this data and made some changes to it, and now you want to copy it onto your local C drive. Yes, you can do that. So you simply reverse your command. Now you're saying that from my Docker, so I'm saying Docker, copy. This is my Docker name, my R Studio, which is this Docker image, and this is the name of that. And I'm saying from my home drive, from this R Studio drive, my data.csv file. So this is the source which I want to use which is this file. And then I, I simply want to copy it to my C backslash temp drive on my local computer. So once I run it, I have successfully copied it onto my temp drive. And I hope you have found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it. And I'll see you in the next one.